Now, first of all, this is a very light graphics card, comparing it to the GTX 580. And, uh, of course, it's a newer card, and this is a more refined model. But one of the reasons I wanted to use this card, obviously, is because it supports three monitors. But another reason is because of the power connectors here. If you notice, it only takes the six-pin power connector, and that's it. So if I wanted to, I could get another one of these and run them in SLI. I'm probably only going to need one of these, though. But it is a nice option to have down the line. And the reason being is because the power supply I have in that machine has limited power connectors on it. But as you can see, the heat sink is right behind the fan here. One thing that's different about this card than the card that I have in there currently, the card I have in there currently is encased, so it forces the air out of the back, which might be a little bit better, especially if the card runs hot, but I think this card is not going to run as hot as the card I have in there. Again, it's older technology, so hopefully this doesn't raise the temperatures inside my case, because the case that I have is really not the most vented case. Although it is a workstation case and it's a workstation machine with workstation hardware, so it's a little more hardy than you would find in consumer grade hardware. So we'll see how this works out. I could always upgrade it or change it down the line if I want, but I really do think this is going to work out for me. You see the twin fans here, you see the EVGA logo up there, you see the SC GeForce GTX 750 Ti branding down at the bottom. Over here it says Active Cooling Extreme. Everything pretty much is a matte black plastic. Of course, you have the heat sink here, as you can see. Let's take a look at it from this side. And on top here, again, you have the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti branding up here. On the back of the card, you see here that the card could be smaller, but because of the heat sink and whatnot, it is a larger card. So the reason I bought this, I could have gotten the smaller version, but I bought this because I think it'll run cooler. And then we've got the connectors back here. Again, you have a vent here, so hopefully a lot of that hot air will come out of the back there. But again, I don't expect this to be any problem. So over here you have a display port, an HDMI port, and a DVI port. So that's the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti 2GB 128-bit GDDR5 PCI Express 3.0 graphics card that I'm going to be putting in my editing rig and hopefully it's gonna make life a little bit easier for me. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you wanna help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, share this video, or you could join my Patreon. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.